Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to go through all of my skincare items that I've been working through. And I'm also gonna pick new items. Now the new items that I'm going to be using are gonna be items that I'm going to want to travel with because we're gonna go on a road trip uh, while we move and I just want to pick some skincare items that I'm gonna be using now until uh, like literally we're uh, in a different house and I have to make sure that they're you know easy to pack up and travel with. I also want to just pack up all of my skincare at this point. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna do another Shop My Stash until sort of maybe mid-October, December time, um, November time. So we'll see. But I've got everything here that I've been working through the last uh, few weeks. I'll start with an empty. So I finished the Dr. Levy Intense Stem Cell Booster Serum. This is really nice. If I had a full size, I would enjoy it. I also finished this mini Lancome Bifacial um, Makeup Remover. It was pretty good. I actually prefer it to the other one that I had. Um, let me talk about this. So this is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Water Gel Moisturizer. This is terrible. <laughs> this didn't do anything and I had to roll in my Clinique moisturizer because my skin was craving for some moisture. This is literally just water in a bottle. There's nothing hydrating about it. The texture itself is actually really light. Um, it goes on, it's it's kind of like a jelly, I would say. It's Yeah, it's a little bit like a jelly, but honestly, it dissolves into water and it's just not hydrating enough. The formula is just too thin for my liking. I don't enjoy it and I was really disappointed in this. Um, the whole reason I actually bought this Jelly Pop bundle is because I thought this was gonna be really good and it was uh, a huge letdown and I have so much left I have to get through. Um, but for me, I just didn't want my skin to suffer just by using this just to use it. So I had to pull in my Clinique moisturizer to add some extra moisturizer to my skin, which I thoroughly enjoyed because I like that product. I also have the Jelly Pop um, Watermelon Glitter Face Mask. This was another disappointment. It's not glittery. When it says glitter face mask, I thought it was going to be nice and glittery. It was just so boring. Um... As a mask, I think it's fine, but I was just expecting something with a little bit more pizzazz, just because of what it like claims it will be. I really like this one. This is from Save Beauty, and this is the anti-pollution vitamin C booster. I thought I was gonna like it, and I really liked it. This is quite a decent size. It's 30 mil, and I've used about up to here, so um, I've used about a third already. I really, really like it. I felt like it was hydrating my skin. Um, it protects your skin from early aging. I really like the sound of that. So I thoroughly enjoyed this. I think what I might do is keep this in and take this with me because it was moisturizing. It was really lovely. It's lightweight though, it wasn't super thick. But for a serum, I don't want something super thick. But again, it wasn't super thin either. So it was just the perfect amount. And yeah, I actually think I'm going to keep this in and take it with me. Um, this one I used a little bit, not actually too much. So I'm going to take this one out. This is the Garnier Refreshing Botanical Cleansing Milk with Aloe Extract. It is a lovely product. Um, I don't uh, particularly like their other milk um, cleansers, but this one I don't mind. So yeah, I'm going to take this one out but it was all right. I used more of my glow mask from L'Oreal. Um, this one I do like. It is messy, but I do think it leaves my skin feeling really, really lovely. So I'm glad that I got to use this. I think I used it a couple more times. It's not something I'm going to use every single week. So it's just one of those times when I'm feeling like I want to use a clay mask. And I tried this for the first time. This is from Upcircle. This is the face scrub with coffee and floral oils. Now, oh, I was so excited for this. And as a product, I think it's, I think it's good. Um, but I wasn't expecting what it was. It's literally coffee granules grind together with some floral oil. I mean, that's that's basically what it is. So your face looks horrendous. It's so messy. It does leak a little bit too, which I don't particularly like. It's actually already leaked down on my desk here. So it is a messy product. Um, and that's, that's annoying for me. I don't really like messy products. But um, in terms of the actual product itself, I think it's probably good. It's just not something that I, I didn't expect it to be so uh, 
gritty and I, I just didn't expect it to be like pure coffee which I guess that's my fault um but yeah wasn't uh I, I didn't fall in love with this like I, I thought I would to be honest so that was a little bit disappointing I've got my two Garniers here these are the um organic range so I've got the toner this is the pure time perfecting toner and then I've got the fresh lemongrass uh gel wash um sorry I'm not showing you yeah, these are fine. I, I didn't actually use the toner all that much. I think I used it once or twice. And then the gel wash I used mostly every day. It's a good one. I'm debating whether I want to use this uh, for my road trip and maybe just finish up on the road. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about that. I'm going to put that to the side. And then I've got the Avant Hyaluronic um, Filler Collagen Eye Formula. This is this is good. I actually really like Avant Eye products i also already tried another one and it's the second one i've tried this is very very expensive obviously this is a mini deluxe sample but um the full size is about 99 pounds so very expensive and it actually is really really good but i'm gonna roll that one out and then i really enjoyed this this is the another avant this is the rose quartz um harmonious uh revitalizing and firming mask so this one you don't actually have to wash off you just apply a thin layer to clean dry skin allowed to absorb into skin no need to wash off so i was doing this as just a, in my nighttime routine put it on and then that that would be like the final step it's so nice i tell you what this smells divine and it was a pleasure using this it was so i was just excited to use this every single day um it is pink which is kind of strange but you know it's not it's not a, a vibrant pink or anything it's like a it's it's cream it's like a cream but it does have sort of a little bit of a pink tint and you just it just sinks into the skin and it's i i don't know if it's moisturizing but it does make it i really have enjoyed this and i'm not sure why it does smell really really good it's got water it's got sweet almond oil um and i i really really enjoyed this i didn't think i was gonna like it because i don't usually like rose products but this one is an exception um i actually didn't finish this i thought i was gonna finish this this is the pie skincare omega rich moisturizer cream i've only got a little bit left um this one i i thought it was good but i'm not a huge fan of the scent it is all natural um so they don't, you know, it's whatever they put in the product, that's what you smell. And that's fine, you know, if you don't want fragrance or like any any anything like that, then Pie Skin Care is a really good one because it's really good for sensitive skin. But I don't mind fragrance or, you know, nicely scented products. And I think I'm just not a huge fan of the smell, but I think in terms of the product and the formula, it's great. I really like Pie Skin Care. And then I didn't try these two, which is a bit disappointing. Um, I really thought I was going to do this, but by the time I like started, you know, I, I realized I needed to film this video today and I just, I never got around to using this. I used another one of these, so I know that they're good, but I'm just going to keep it in my stash and use it at some point. And then I didn't try this. This is just a cleansing charcoal cleansing pad and I completely forgot about it. So I might just use this in my own time and maybe not roll it in because I just, you know, I don't want to keep rolling things in and then not actually using it so um i think i might just put that in a different area of my skincare all right so i don't these are all my masks over here and i don't think i'm going to take anything out uh to travel with i just think i'm going to pack all this stuff up because the, these types of items i don't use every single day they're more for just to pamper myself and because i'm going to be packing up and uh we're going to go on a road trip <laughs> i just don't think i'm going to need to take any of that with me on the road um moving on i have i really want to take something from my eyes just to have i think i'm going to take this this is the money skin eye cooling gel it's not bad i've used about half of it and it's it's a it's a good packaging where it's not gonna i mean i don't think it would leak and i could just throw it in and i don't know i don't really want to take one of these because the application would just be i don't know this is a pump and i just think it's a little bit easier to use so yeah i'm going to take this one out uh exfoliator i don't think i'm going to use an exfoliator if i'm honest because the, again that's not something that i would do every single day so i think i'm going to just leave that for now and then i can start getting back to doing that in my regular routine but i think for now i just need to 
do the essentials and that's it um serums so i'm gonna keep that save beauty serums that i've been using and i i'm wondering if i should take my night oh that's not my niacinamide where's my niacinamide it's back here i'm wondering if i oh no that's not my niacinamide oh my gosh did i finish my niacinamide wait where is my niacinamide i knew i didn't finish it okay it's here I think I'm going to take my niacinamide just in case my skin starts looking pretty bad. This always seems to clear it up. So I think I'm going to definitely take that. Um, and that's, yeah, that's it for this drawer. Okay, this drawer, I just cannot wait to pack up because I am so ready to start getting things organized. Um, I don't think I'm going to take a toner because I just, I always forget to do toners. But I need to do a cleanser. So I might... Um, so I, yeah, I have the cleanser out that I've been using from Garnier, or I might just take this elf face cleanser because you know what, it's cheap, it's two pounds. If anything were to happen to it, it really wouldn't matter to me. Oops. And I know that I like it. I know that's awfully boring, but I think I might take this and just take, I, I just think it's just an easy one for me to take. There's plenty of it. And yeah, I think I'm just going to take that. I do have this new one here from Primark. But I think in terms of the like traveling with it, it might be a little bit annoying. So I don't think I'm going to do that. And because all the other Jelly Pop products have been really bad, I've, I imagine this is not going to be very good. So I don't want to take that as a gamble and then not have a very good cleanser on the road with me. At least with the e.l.f. one, I know what I'm getting. I do think I want to take an oil because I'm not taking too much and I'm just thinking I should take an oil um maybe this small one this is the the balancing facial oil from lucky cloud honestly don't mind this and i might take it just to add as an extra step i could take the skin and tonic one but i'm not feeling it to be honest i don't think i want to take that one but i this is just a bit smaller and i think i would just want to take something that's maybe a little bit smaller so yeah i'm going to take that and then in terms of moisturizers I did pick up this in a beauty box this last month, but I don't think there's enough here. <laughs> I'd like to try it, but I just don't think there's enough here for me to take on the road. Um, what is this? This is a an acid illumination day cream. Oh, I tried this already. I don't like that one. Um, oh gosh. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, no, I don't want that one. I haven't tried this one. And this... It might be a little bit too lightweight. It says it's lightweight. And I'm I don't know because I haven't used it. I might I might want something different. It's nice and small. It's only 30 mil. This is 15 mil. Yeah. I'm just wondering 30 mil. That sh I shouldn't get through 30 mil, right? I don't know. Everything else is about 50 mil, so maybe i will but then i don't use that much moisturizer i might take this out to be honest and in, in the next like week or, or whatever i'll obviously be trying it if i don't like it maybe i will oh no because i want to pack everything <laughs> i don't know um maybe i, I could take those, these two and just try both of them together they're not they're small and they're not going to take up too much room yeah let me do that so i'll take the animus pro collagen marine cream and then this pastel and mortar hydrate it's just in case this one is too lightweight i know that this one is like some people's holy grail and i've never tried it but i really like elemis so i might just go ahead and use that and uh let's see so my elf cleanser doesn't remove makeup so i and i am gonna but i'm gonna take a makeup remover cloth which actually i've been using quite a lot so i'm not gonna take a makeup remover i'm not going to i could take these two items so i've got these two these are just little samples but they're just spf i could take these and use them up while I'm on the road. I'm just wondering if I'm going to want to do that. Ugh. But once you open them, you have to like use the whole thing and it might be too much. No, actually I'll save these. I'll pack them up and yeah, I mean, this is a really quick video. I don't really think I want to take anything else to be honest. So, so these are really the only items I'm going to be taking. I could take this. This is a face SPF. I actually haven't tried this yet. I might take this just because we're going to be in the car and I'll be, you know, in 
more daylight than I usually am because I work from home and I don't really leave the house. So I might take that along with all of these and yeah, the only thing I don't have would be a night cream here. Um, so, but I could use this as a night cream and then this is a day cream and I've got my eye cream here and yeah, I just don't have a makeup removal thing, but I could double cleanse. I could use my, my, uh, makeup cloth just like to remove everything and then go in again with the elf cleanser. I think I'm going to do that. I really like this. So this can act, you know, as a double layer to like moisturize. It's a really nice serum. And then I've got an oil just in case I want to put some oil on. I do like this. This has got lavender, bergamot and frankincense. It's really interesting. I like it. And I've got my nice in mind just in case something happens to my skin and I need some relief. I think that's good. It doesn't seem like a lot. I usually take more out. But I want to pack up everything and I think this is more than what I need. So yeah. Oh, and by the way, this is a deodorant. So I'm going to take this as well. This is from Bloomtown. It's a natural deodorant, right? It's got lavender and rose geranium. It's got 0% aluminum, aluminum uh, baking soda or parabens. It's a deodorant bar. So you literally just like roll it. It's like a, a bar of soap. That's what it looks like. It smells divine. This is what I've been using and actually it's really good. So I'm probably going to take this along with all of those. And that's like all my like face skincare that I'm going to be uh, keeping and using and hopefully nothing runs out the only thing like that could run out would be one of these two things um, everything else I doubt I'll run out of but I've been using less skincare lately and I feel like my face appreciates that I just don't feel like sometimes you need to do too much too much can be too much um, so obviously I'm not taking an exfoliator or a toner because I don't think I'm gonna need to but you know by the time I I move I'll probably need to <laughs> all right well anyway thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you'd like to I'm going to do some more packing videos now but thank you so much bye